Hi there, once again, welcome back to Prestige Auctions. It was a massive week last week. We did two auctions. We did art, alcohol and autographs, followed by another 1,450 lots. We broke every record there possibly was to break in this room last week in terms of number of sales, number of items, the time we started. And here's the new announcement. It's gonna be going out on Facebook later today. All auctions going forward, uh, well, all, when I say all auctions, all Saturday auctions will be starting at 9 a.m., okay? New thing going forward, 9 a.m. starts. We need that half hour at the end of the day rather than, rather than the beginning of the day because this room, as you can see, is just chocker. Again, we've just got rid of 1,450 odd lots, although there's a few outstanding still, uh, which will, will probably fall over when we're walking around. But do you know what? We've got another cracking week. We've got a load of Asian again for you, a load of Asian stuff. We've got a, an absolute boatload of records again, uh, coins, we've got all sorts, and an old cap gun collection. But uh, anyway, without further ado, this is for uh, Saturday the 13th of July. Uh, viewing is this Friday from eight till seven. Uh, before we go any further, let's have a look around, see what came into the auction. So here we go once again with another load of stuff that's into the auction. Now I can tell you, it's only about half past two down here at Prestige Auctions, maybe even two o'clock, I haven't even looked. But uh, we're having to do this a bit earlier today because uh, we're on quotes all over the region today and uh, so we're busy, busy. But uh, the stuff that's coming to the auction now, if you can imagine that was a bit darker, look at all the LEDs changing light in that, and that's a nice thing, that one. That's in this week's auction, as are all these things here. We had some fantastic clearances in once again. Excuse the lorry going past there, uh, including these uh, monkeys and things there. And we've got a load more of that Asian stuff, all from the same house in Grimsby. So it's all worth looking at this. It was, it was buying at a much better end. So you can see there, all these Asian lamps and things. And we've got the boxes of assorted as well, pottery and plates and uh, cups and saucers, woodenware and uh, more cups and saucers and a load of uh, elephants, a box of elephants, why not? Box of picture frames and a box of clocks and a box of uh, old cards and things. As we come down here, let me see what these are. Sort of brand new kitchen items, look. The, the list is endless of what comes into this auction every single week. And I can absolutely confirm to you, we're actually getting busier, believe it or not. Uh, we are sorry for everyone that's having to wait. It's now the end of August before we can get stuff into the auction, but we can do clearances sooner on some occasions. Don't forget, we have got a two week shutdown coming up quite soon. So all of these boxes here, you've got boxes of stoneware, and then you've got, look at all those pencils. Wow, what a great box that is. All them pencils brand new and all these uh, boxes of games and we've got guitars. We've even got a box of cameras down there. Now it is a little bit tricky to get to things this week because there is just that much in the room. I can confirm uh, that the uh, Ford Escort should be here later today. Although the chap has just rang us and said he's just struggling to get it here uh, because his transport's let him down. But we've tried to sort that for him. So hopefully that Ford Escort will be in the sale. Look at all these, all these signs once again. All these signs always seem to sell quite well. There's the BP Spirit ones in there. And there's ones for music and martini. And what about these trays here? These are fantastic trays this week. Of all this, uh, uh, it's not silver, but it says 925 on it. The silver plated jewelry, lots of it, look. There's uh, somebody, a, lot good, a lot of good stuff there for a boot sailor. And we've got clocks, look, and we've got boxes of stuff. We've got more of the signs in there. As you can see, they're always worth having a look at. And then a big box of cutlery in the corner and then the usual amount of dvds and jigsaws and things that you can see there so uh never never discount the boxes because the boxes can be quite good as we move into here we've got a lot of coins in this week so now i'm not going to go on about the coins too much i do strongly suggest that anybody that's after the coins to come and look it's always best to come and look at the coins because you never know what you're going to get up here we've got wicker baskets Wicker baskets along there. We've got these more sort of Asian lamps and things. A lot of stuff came out of that property. Then we've got all these toys. Uh, we've got Nerf guns and things, or maybe a big box of golf balls. Who knows uh, what people want. Anyway, we've got dolls down here as well. And uh, all of these toys as well. And uh, 
what's this a box of dinosaurs and things lots more uh, dvds blu-rays and things and boxes of cds now some of these have been doing quite well recently in here because the people that are supplying all this stuff to us are not going through it they're not cherry picking stuff out that's why there's good stuff in there anyone you can see most boxes of cds and dvds you know look, a struggle to make three quid but when somebody's not going through it they make good money because it allows some meat on the bone for people to be able to purchase them and make some money okay so we're going to head the way that the auction would naturally run now uh, you can see we're still in a bit of a mess because we're just uh, still in the middle of lotting up and uh, the team have been extremely busy today. So we've got boxes of wee stuff there and what is this stuff here? I don't even know. I mean, I'm looking with you lot at the same time. Who knows what that is? I think it's all stuff to do with old uh, uh, radio control planes and stuff. Boxes of cosmetics and then we've got these boxes, boxes of match attacks and stuff. And then PlayStation games or the PS, PSP games and ones. Then we've got Xbox games and then we've got uh, DS games. Another box of Now CDs, we often get those. And then a box of uh, music DVDs. They always seem to be quite popular. Then this one here is a radio control cars and boats and things like And then this one, we've got some stamps, some old stamp albums. And then we've got uh, another box of CDs. And then up here, we've got a big box, banana box, full of PlayStation 2 games. As we come down here, we've got all these uh, new games and things, and all these big boxes of games, including Connects and stuff. Well, what about a big box mainly of Monopolies? Look, some of them are still sealed. Even that one there, my Monopoly is still sealed. And then we come into here, we've got all this Pokemon stuff, and then all of these... Uh, uh, various media things there, all CDRs and things. Most look brand new. PlayStation 2 stuff. We've got all of these uh, Duplo things here. And then down here, we've got the uh, PS3 games. That's a banana box full. Or maybe a banana box full of Wii games. And then here, we've got Xbox 360 games. And then more uh, various games there. Big box of costume jewellery. And then Walkmans. They've been doing well recently as well. Big box of cassettes. An original Xbox, and then we've got some PlayStations and things down here. Some of them include games, some don't. As we come down here, Xbox 360, and we've got big boxes of Blu-rays as well. As we come into this table, on the floor down here, you'll see there's boxes of flowers and things. And then a bit more Asian wear, and there's some Beatles uh, uh, sort of framed things. Cash and credit cards signed there. That looks to me like it came from Pleasure Island. I can't 100% be sure of that. And we've got a big basket of Peppa Pigs. And then up here, we've got various uh, lots of plates. And then we've got CDs and things. And we've got a load of these bikers uh, jackets again, bikers, levers and things, of which did uh, okay in the auction the other week. I just come out of George's way as he's carrying stuff through. Up here, we've got some Royal Dalton stuff. So you can see the auction room is busy. More Royal Dalton bits, the balloon sellers and such like. Go on, Ken, you're all right. Uh, and there's more stuff to go into that cabinet yet because we're a bit early today. And then we've got a Staffordshire Terrier. We've got some various uh, oriental looking things. That's quite a nice oriental vase there, as you can see. And then we've got baby sham glasses and the, uh, the deer as well. More cutlery. And then we've got some Murano clowns and things there, or at least one of them. Up here, we've got some coloured glass. Uh, more coloured glass up there. You can still see we've got gaps. There's not many of them, but they will be filled by the end of the day. Then we've got brass cannons. What about that? A big basket full of brass, uh, old gun cartridges, bullet cartridges and stuff. Or what about that sweet uh, dressing table set there? As we come up here, we'll just show you those once more. We'll come down this way and show you this way. We've got a lot of kids' cap guns, old cap gun toys in from yesteryear. You can see there, look all the ones in there and then as we come around here we've got the lights on here there's somebody's gloves we've got more uh, old child's toys and things and more 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 and more coins lots of coins in this week's auction like i say and then we've got a load of patches and a load of bb pellets and things in the back there so we've also got this this is quite a nice lot all these brand new gift sets including calf kidston and all the rest of it, as you can see there, as we go on the shelf all the way down, there's a lot of them. So all of those gift sets there. We've also got ironing boards and a Yoda as well. Up here, we've got uh, uh, various kitchen items and uh, things, toasters and blenders and all sorts of stuff on there, as you can see. We come this way, a uh, load of book on guns and stuff. And then we've got uh, boxes of assorted filing boxes, cushions, and we've got uh, videos and DVD players and Paddington Bear. 
hidden in the box down the bottom look as we come up here we've got father christmas various christmas trimmings christmas uh, santa in the engine micro scale electric we've got slow cookers and televisions and castles and uh, is that is that a pc tower it's a pc copier the pc copier is it that's a huge thing isn't it go on past daniel right uh so we come up here we've got a nice old uh, uh portable telly you don't see them like that anymore and uh, then you come down here, you've got more and more bits. Now, we've got the usual table. About, as you can see, we've got lots of furniture in this week. We'll be talking about that soon enough. So we'll follow the natural... Uh, well, I would follow it around if somebody had picked the, the items up. And then we've got kitchen pans here. You can see there's more cutlery down here. We've got boxes of books. So I'm going to have to walk around the other way to be able to show you this because clearly people and not picking their items up they're now being charged one pound per item per day to keep their stuff in our storage area or not a non-storage area should i say uh, so we come down here we've got boxes of jigsaws boxes of toys boxes of dvds cds pottery crockery and a light and things like that we've got all these old cds there we've got boxes of pans uh we've got books as well some are brand new and all these buffy dvds and things whatever these books are here there seems to be quite a lot of them let's have a look what they are oh it's a it's a doddle to care it says there you go so some children's books as well most of those look brand new to be honest and then we've got a picture of the victory or something up there is it and then we come around here plants uh, various plants various brand new items in the boxes at the back you've really got to look through these rooms these rooms are they're really the rooms where you can buy the treasure you can find it you've got to give it time and look through the boxes all these star wars books look all these lego books and there's going to be books on doctor who down the bottom there and then there's all this uh, crystal. Look at all these boxes of crystal in there. Another nice box, that one. More kitchenware, big mirrors and things. You know, if you look in these boxes, you never know what you're going to find. We do not get the time to look through every last little bit that private vendors bring in. Uh, we do look at more of the house clearance stuff, but the private vendors often miss bits that they don't think's worth anything. And they put it in the boxes. All these big bags of uh, teddies this week. I see there's quite a lot of Disney and that in them. So, you know, for you resellers, car boot sailors, vintage, whatever you do, there is money to be made at the auction every single week. If you're feeling the pinch and want to earn some extra money, the auctions are a good place to go to buy the stuff in bulk in the boxes and then you can uh, go and resell it singularly or in little lots and all the rest of it. And then ultimately, you'll make yourself a few quid extra on the side. Now, the furniture room has spilled over into the back room this week. So I can tell you that in here we've got all these baskets, we've got that quad thing there, whatever that is. Uh, I've been told it does run, but it's a bit of a project. So just to get bear that in mind, we've got this dog, we've got all these boxes, we've got various uh, hedge cr cutters, lots of tools. This is what we naturally call the tool room. Uh, so as you can see, there's lamps, there's various cutting things there by McAllister, there's boxes of tools, you name it, it's in here. This is the room you need to get into this room and dig around. Have a look, see what you can find, see what's useful to you. It's not all about what's useful to somebody else. You know, if I had a pound every week for some idiot coming on our site and going, oh, load of boot sale rubbish. Yeah, you're dead original, mate. We've heard it all before. You know, it's not up to what you call boot sale rubbish is what somebody else calls really useful. And, uh, you know, stuff that makes hundreds of pounds obviously isn't just boot sale rubbish but you know on the boot sales you get great finds and this is why you've got to come to your local auction room and have a good look have a good rummage through all these boxes look box after box after box whether you're after some uh, gloves or some garden items or maybe some spray paints or another box of gloves there all this stuff is there to be found i mean look at this who knows what's in these boxes? Oh, it's more reels of those tape. Now, they did okay last week. That tape is still in good, usable condition. So it's still extremely sticky. So if you're on eBay or whatever, then get that bought. Or maybe all these, look at all these brand new uh, bags of knives and forks and things. You know, that's all being sold as one lot. You've got all these drop saws. 
pillar drills, toolboxes, look, and that's even full of tools, filing drawers and one of them beer machines. And then, of course, don't forget always to look under the tables as well. The front table in this room is from last week's stuff, so don't look under that one. But look under all these backroom tables because there is more treasure to be found. So you come down here, we've got rotivators, we've got generators. Uh, generators down here, we've got kids' bikes, we've got uh, small kids' bikes, medium kids' bikes... And then we'll have some adult bikes, I dare say, somewhere kicking around. Uh, we've got golf trolleys and step ladders. And then if you're looking for some stuff for the garden, well, hang on, let's just have a quick look what this is. I mean, who knows? What, what is that? Whatever it is, look, it's brand new in the box. So there you go, another item. Big planter, a kid's mini, and uh, one of them electric ones. And then we come down here, we've got planters, various planters for the garden. Well, they cost loads of money in the garden centres. Why would you, you're just going to chuck mud in them. Why would you go and buy the brand, pay the brand new price when you can get them cheaper in the auction? So we come down here, we've got hose pipes, we've got more hose pipes, we've got bags of compost, more planters, we've got wheelbarrows, we've got compressors and step ladders and bins and garden tools and steps and artificial plants and lawnmowers as well. So we've got lawnmowers down there, as you can see. Uh, we've got this kind of uh, tripod thing. We've got shelving units. We've got tea chests. We've got this big box here. Who knows what that is, but it's a bit of a monster. And then we've got this... Uh, is that really a, a snap-on tool chest down there as well that you can see? And then we've got running machines and insulation, whatever that is there. And then we come on to more furniture because we've got so much furniture in this week. We've had to overspill it into the back room. We've got all these shark hoovers as well. Shark hoovers are always quite good. Uh, and these ones here, I know the chap that brings these in, they're always working. So there you go. That's those. Of course, you can always test the stuff. We allow you to do that. So we come on here. We've got somebody's disco collection. But the looks of it, look at all these records. Boxes and boxes from the 50s, 60s, 70s and 80s. And right through the 90s as well. And see with Kylie Minogue doing the locomotion there. And uh, we've got boxes of magazines, air gun magazines. We've got more boxes of assorted. As we come around here, we come past the cutlery and stuff. And uh, I'm going to show you. We're going to go the natural route of the auction. Kitchen stuff, hi-fis, record players, various uh, porcelain dolls. That uh, Plustron TVR C5C there. And then you look up here, this, this stuff, there's just so much again. So in the white goods this week, not loads. We've got a really nice gas cooker, a fridge freezer and, uh, and a Kenwood microwave and stuff and a Panasonic microwave. You come down here, we've got TVs, we've got mirrors, we've got big old mirrors as well. That's quite a nice one. We've got shelving units, we've got more cookers, more televisions, look. We've got Dutch dresses, the oval top one there, as you can see. And we've got uh, sets of drawers and nice wardrobes as well. Now, this really is a good furniture week. So if you're a furniture buyer, one of the things we are struggling to get at Prestige Auctions, and we do not understand it, is good second-hand dealers coming through this door. The ones that come through do well but they don't come through often enough. You need to get involved with the buying of the furniture in this room. There's lots of good stuff, often going at bargain prices. So if you're a second-hand dealer, uh, we do have a few come to us, but they don't come every week. So get yourself down here and uh, get this room covered because you're missing out on lots and lots of bargains. We've got boxes of shoes. We've got uh, Oriental ginger jars. We've even got some kitchen roll in that box. Up. But all these are big boxes full of stuff. And then we come on to the front table before we hit the mainstream uh, furniture. Now we've got a lot of dance music in this week, dance music records, one, two, three, four piles. Another one there from a different vendor. We've got big boxes of brass. We've got all of these ornaments. Now we've got these. Now that's quite a rare giraffe, a Russian one, that one. We've got uh, 2000 AD comics and we've got... Uh, uh, various uh, different magazines and stuff, tributes to Elvis. We've got a load of pipes, why not? A load of uh, air gun stuff there, including uh, pellets and what have you. And then you come down here, you've got PS2s. I don't even know what's in this box. Look at all those old stamps, another good lot. And then we've got coin albums. We've got Doll's House furniture on the front table. Pottery, 
Uh, then we come on to some of the better records. Bruce Springsteen, uh, Box of Various Punk, Pink Floyd, a load of Blondie, and this one here, the Sex Pistols, quite a decent one, and a load of David Bowie records. We've got more, more stuff down here, more records. This is a nice one as well. Look at that old box there with all the drawers inside it. We've got a big box of PlayStation 1 games. And then here we've got an old uh, sort of vintage now, uh, Apple uh, Apple computer and an Apple Mac as well. I'm pretty, I'm told on good authority that they're working as well. So might be worth plugging them in and giving them a go. Sega Master System in the box. <laughs> That's got a reserve on. The reserve is laughable. It's going to make so much more. So we've got uh, these items here, more Blu-rays. Then we come on to the furniture section where we've got electric radiators, big tubs there. We've got lamps. And then we've got these uh, fan heaters and things. And then we've got these really nice coffee tables. As you can see, these glass ones. And these here, these are quite nice items. Always nice to see the koi's on the inside of these big planters as well. Nice Asian wear. And we've got all sorts of more stuff that's come from that house down here. And then we've got, you look up here, we've got pine shelving units. We've got some nice uh, small items of old furniture this week. So like this one here, it's quite a nice piece with the padded inside, like an old sewing box or something. It was just really, really nicely made. Come down here, small butcher's block uh, and a piano stool and a couple of really nice but small chairs. They're quite nice as well. This one here, look at this nice old chair. Another, look, again, nice old pieces. Uh, we come down here, we've got heaters, and then up here we've got a clock, and then a, uh, a, a piece of bedroom furniture. We've got some nice beds, big double bed here, a nice clean mattress, good quality mattress on that as well. And then we've got dressing tables, again, older ones. We've got hi-fi units, then more older pieces of furniture, as you can see there, that one there, and this really nice old Italian style table as well. A little drop leaf one there. And then you come here and we've got this Art Deco oval top piece of furniture as well. You know, which could, you know, it's, it's an older piece. It's got a little bit of sun bleaching on it, but that could be brought back really nice. Uh, TV units, uh, some nice chairs as well, as you can see up there. And we've got pictures and uh, tea trolleys and tables and pieces of art as well. Down here, more tables and hoovers. And then down here, uh, electric heaters, wicker baskets. We've got more uh, paintings there. And we've got this great big pianola. I know how much my guys enjoyed moving this one around and they can't wait to lift it back on somebody else's van. This is an old uh, electric one, as you can see there. And uh, these ones, of course, uh, if you can get it going, it's been sat in a garage for years. Uh, these are the ones that will actually play themselves. So if you fancy a bit of a feature for your house, man cave, or maybe a bar, then maybe that's the one for you. We've got walkers, uh, various cupboards, we've got settees. Uh, I've already shown you that bed, so I'm gonna come around to the next bit. Uh, oh, I forgot to do the pigeonholes. Look at all that stuff on the pigeonholes there. Uh, don't miss that. And then we come here, we've got big canvases and heaters and big framed mirrors. That one's uh, not in a very good place. I think that one will be broke by the end of the week. Let's mean that a bit. And then we come here, we've got uh, a stereo there with uh, speakers, dressing tables, hoovers, china cabinets. As we come down this way, we've got uh, nice sets of drawers, uh, various cabinets, a coat stand there as well. And then we come this way, we've got chairs, uh, we've got a nice suite, another chair there, more tables, uh, towel rails, this is the thing, there's, there's so much on offer in an auction room because everybody that has a house cleared, you know, there are various items that come out of it. Look at that lovely dressing mirror, real nice old one. Oh, that stunning onyx lamp. You come down here, you've got settees and things. You've got small clocks, you've got pictures, you've got big flight cases, more drawers, a small clock there, as I just said. And then you've got carpet washers, you've got dart boards, more sets of drawers. I quite like the look of that, actually. That's quite a nice set of drawers, that. Uh, more wicker stuff, more dressing tables, an old number plate, some chairs, some tub chairs, and there's more chairs down here. And what about a rather nice uh, twin pedestal desk there? Uh, that's, uh, again, quite a nice one. And uh, then this one here, 
You've got mannequins and uh, more wicker baskets, more of those bar stalls as well, if you're looking for something for a man cave. And then we come down here, you've got all of these sets of drawers, you've got more chairs, big dining tables. And what about that nice uh, Victorian uh, bow-fronted chest of drawers there? And then down here, you've got uh, equipment, you've got a nice settee there, another one as well. More chairs, tables, lots of nice uh, small bits of furniture, copper top table down there as well. And then as we come through towards the end of the room, we have... Uh, da, 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 da. Hello, the jukeboxes. Are these jukebox fronts or whatever they are? They're one, two, three, four, and a Z bed. Now, what else is to come? Well, I can tell you. Oh, there's a nice bit of Oriental there as well, Oriental stand. Uh, I can tell you there's a load of silver to come in yet. Well, we've already got it, we just haven't put it out. There is going to be some more jewelry coming in. Uh, there's potentially the Ford Escort, as long as the guy can get it here. Um, all in all, it's looking like a grand auction again. Uh, I don't think it's going to be as many lots as last week, but please take note, the new start time is 9 a.m. All auctions going forward will be starting at 9, uh, on the Saturday one anyway. We're not sure about the specialist sales. So that's it. Once again, as always, thank you for sticking with us. Thank you for all your continued support. As we reached our seventh birthday yesterday, we did put a few things online and uh, we do appreciate you all coming to see us week in, week out. It's going to be a great week. We've still got a lot of work to do. Uh, viewing is this Friday from 8 in the morning till 7 at night. We hope to see you all again very soon at the auction. Thank you.